Good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about computing for the interest, maturity value or the future value, and the present value in simple interest environment. So if you can still remember in our last video, we've tackled about the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest. But this time, we're going to focus first on the simple interest. And let's try to solve for the value of the interest, maturity value, and the present value if these are unknown in the problem. So present value po is similar to principal. Ito po yung inutang natin. So paano po kung yung given is yung maturity value interest pero wala yung present value? Mas solve po kaya natin yun. So let's try to figure out in this discussion. So first, let us first recall what simple interest is. So simple interest po is the interest charged by the lenders to the borrowers for a loan. So this is according to investopedia.com year 2023. So, ibig sabihin po, simple interest, siya yung kabayaran mo dahil nangutang ka ng pera. Ibig sabihin, dahil pinahiram ka, merong bayad yung ipinahiram sa'yo. So, yun. Pwera pa yun doon sa hiniram mismo. So, my dear students, when we are dealing with simple interest, we usually have this formula, pi for the interest is equal to PRT. P po is the principal, ito po yung hiniram natin. R is the rate and T po is the time. So, again, let's write it down. P po. This is the principal. CR po, this is the rate. And this is usually in terms of percent. So, kailangan po natin na i-transform muna siya sa decimal in order for us to compute for the interest. And si T po ay time. In terms of years po, lagi siya. Tatandaan po na si time is always in terms of years. But aside from that, we also have the formula for the future value or ito po yung maturity value. Ibig sabihin po nito, ito po yung hiniram plus yung interest na babayaran mo. So alam po natin, di ba, ng interest is equal to PRT. So ibig sabihin po, pwede natin siyang um, i-rewrite into F is equal to P plus PRT or simply F is equal to P. I-factor out po natin si P dahil may dalawa po silang P. So 1 plus RT. So kapag po i-distribute natin si P, P times 1, that is P. P times RT, that is PRT. So ito pong part na to, parehas lang naman po siya nito. Yun lang nga lang po, para maging isahan po si P, inilabas lang po natin siya pansamantala. Example number one, Angel borrowed 170000 from her uncle. If she agreed to pay an 8% annual interest rate, Calculate the amount of interest she must pay if the loan period is A, 1 year, B, 7 months, and C, 20 months. So first, let's try to write down all of the givens. So we have the principal, and that is 170,000. We also have the rate, and that is 8%. And 8% in decimal, that is 0 0.08. And for letter A, our time po is equal to 1 year. So, using our formula, kasi yung pinapahanap po sa atin is the amount of interest, I is equal to PRT. So, that will give us 170,000 times 0 0.08 times 1. And using our calculator, that is 170,000 times 0 0.08 times 1. That will give us 13,600. For letter B naman, we have 7 months. Now, I want you to remember that using our formula, RT po is always in terms of years. So, ibig sabihin po si 7 months, we need to divide it by 12 because there are 12 months in 1 year. So, that will give us I is equal to PRT. And RP po, again, that is 170,000. RR is 0 0.08. And sa time po natin, that will give us 7 over 12. So using our calculators, that is 170,000 times 0 0.08 times the quantity 7 over 12. Which is equal to 7,933.33 pesos. So, similar case put our letter C, that is again I, is equal to PRT. Again, our principal, that is 170,000 times our R, that is 0 0.08 
times the t that is 20 over 12. Again, bakit po natin in over 12? Because our time must always be in terms of years. So ito pong given natin for letter C in terms of months. So in order for us to turn it into years, we need to divide it by 12. Using our calculators, Our interest is approximately 22,666.67. Example number two. To finance your education for the next school year, you get a summer job at a convenience store. Suppose you save 2,500 pesos of your salary and deposit it into an account that earns simple interest. After nine months, the balance is 2,522 pesos. What is the annual interest rate? So yung pinapahanap naman po sa atin dito is the annual interest rate. So in our previous slides, we've discussed that there are two formula. So first is for the interest and second is the future value. But before we decide which formula to use, let's first write down all of the given. So we have the principal amount and that is 2,500. We also have the future value of 2,500. 522. And also the time, that is 9 months. So since in terms of months siya, gawin natin siyang in terms of years. So that is 9 over 12 or simply that is 3 fourth. So using our formula, so between the two formula, the one with the future value is F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan lang po natin na i-manipulate ito pong um, formula lang ito para makarating tayo kay R. So, divide both sides po muna natin by P. So, F over P is equal to 1 plus RT. So, since may 1 pa siya, so, ilipat natin si 1 sa kabila. F over P minus 1 is equal to RT. So, ang hinahanap lang po natin is si rate Kasi yun po pinapahanap. What is the annual interest rate? Divide both sides by P. So, our formula. So the formula that we need to use is R is equal to F over P minus 1 all over T. So substitute all of the given. So we have 2,522 all over 2,500 minus 1 all over the time is 3 over 4. So using our calculator, that will give us 2,522 over 2,500 minus 1 all over the quantity 3 fourth. And that is equal to so that is equal to 0 0.01173 or simply in terms of percent that is 1.173%. So this is our final answer. So example number three, if 77,000 is invested at 4.5 simple interest, how long will it take to grow to 78,800? So again, let us write down all of the given. We have the principal and that is 77,000 pesos. We also have the future value and that is 78,800 pesos. And we also have the rate which is 4.5% or in decimal that is 0 0.045. Now, my dear students, the unknown is the time. So, siya po yung hinahanap natin. So, again, using our formula po, the one with the future value, that is F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. So, we need to manipulate this in order for us to have the formula for letter T only, given all of the values. So, divide both sides again by P. So, cancel natin si P. 
So we have F over P is equal to 1 plus RT. So since may 1 pa po siya ditong katabi, kaya ibig sabihin ilipat natin sa kabila. That will give us F over P minus 1 is equal to RT. So since ang hinahanap po natin ngayon is si T, ang i-divide naman po natin is si R in order for us to isolate the letter T. So R na natin ito. Divide both sides by R. That will give us... That will give us T is equal to F over P minus 1 all over R. So substituting all of the given, we have 78,800 all over 77,000 minus 1 all over what is our R? That is 0 0.045. So using our calculator, so using our calculator, that is 78,800 all over 77,000. Minus 1 divided by the quantity 0 0.045. That will give us that will give us 0 0.5194 AP. However, ang tinatanong po sa atin is in terms of years. So, di ba po alam natin na sa isang 1 year or sa 1 year po meron po tayong 12 months. So, let's try to multiply it by 12 and our result will be in terms of decimal. So that is six months. So that will give us six months and 14 days approximately. Pero my dear students, yung 0.59480, that is already acceptable. Pero talagyan nyo na lang na in terms of years siya. So we have T is equal to 0 0.519480 years. So kung ito po yung sagot nyo, this is already acceptable. Pero kung ito po yung sagot nyo, mas acceptable. For our last example, Julina is investing an amount at 15% simple interest for 3 years. If she intends to have 48,200 at the end of the term, what must be her principal? So again, the given R. So we have the rate that is 15% or in decimal that is 0 0.15. We also have the time that is 3 years. We also have the future value which is 48,200. Ngayon po, ang pinapahanap po sa atin is the present value or the principal. So using again our formula, di ba yung formula natin? F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Ngayon po, since ang hinahanap natin na si principal, ibig sabihin ang i-divide po natin both sides is yung mga katabi ni principal which is 1 plus RT. So that is 1 plus RT. So, cancel na po natin ito. RP now is equal to F over 1 plus RT. So, again, the formula will be P is equal to F over 1 plus RT. So, yung future value po natin, that is 48,200 all over 1 plus the rate that is 0 0.15 times the time of 3 years. So using our calculators, that will give us So the principal that Julina must so, so the principal that Julina must invest is 41,913.04 pesos. So this is the principal that Julina must invest. So i-summarize lang po natin lahat ng natutuhan natin ngayong araw. So meron po tayong dalawang formula and the formula are i is equal to PRT Kung ang hinahanap po natin is the interest. However, kung ang hinahanap po natin is the rate, the time, the future value, and the present value, given po na lahat yun meron, 
ang gagamitin po natin formula is F is equal to P times 1 plus RP. So, ito po, imamanipulate lang po natin siya para yung nasa left side niya is always the unknown value. Okay? That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye!